How are you everyone? This is Zigzag here and today I'm going to be taking you through 35 tips that only professionals know on GeoGuessr. I've gone deep here and tried to come up with a bunch of things that I think are really useful but also that I think basically only pros know. So hopefully this will be really useful for your gameplay and it will push you to get much better guesses against opponents who just won't be ready for such good guesses. So without a doubt Brazil is one of those countries that's very difficult to guess within and no exception is the state of Accra which is perhaps the most infamously difficult because it's so far away from the rest of the country. Well, often in urban Accra, you will see this blue street sign. It's gonna be really common to see all around towns in Accra. So if you see this blue street sign and you think you might be in the Amazon rainforest, then go for Accra, which is of course this state over here right next to Peru. Next one here, we are in the state of Amazonas. And if you're in Amazonas, that should be the only place where you see green poles in Brazil. Now they are quite rare, but if you see a green pole in Brazil, then just go for Amazonas. That should be a pretty safe send. Okay, next one here is also quite simple. If you see a wooden pole that has definitely been cut to be round at the top, then you should be in the very far north state of Raima, which is of course all the way up here with Boa Vista. Okay, next one here, we are moving to Ukraine. And in Ukraine, if you see a pole that's painted with a red strip at the bottom, that should be somewhere in the large city of Kriviri. And here is Kriviri on the map. Now, bonus tip is that Kriviri can also sometimes have super red soil. So keep an eye out for that, although it should be exceptionally rare. Okay, next up, we're moving to Russia and we're in the Ulyanovsk Oblast here and they often paint their poles interesting colors, including this white, red, white uh, combination, which should be the only place in Russia you can see this. So maybe use it with caution, but generally speaking, when you see that pole bottom, that should be somewhere in Ulyanovsk. They also do different colors sometimes, but yeah, that's the oblast that loves to paint the bottom of their poles. And so that is the oblast just to the west of Samara there. Okay, next up, we are back in Ukraine and we're in Zakarpatia uh, Oblast. And uh, here they have Polish bollards. So if you think you're in Ukraine for some reason, long antenna and a fairly Ukrainian landscape and poles, but you also see that you have Polish bollards, you should guess somewhere here. And of course that is this Oblast, which is right on the border with Slovakia and Poland. Okay, next up, we are in Australia's capital city, which is Canberra. And Canberra should be the only place in Australia where you see this kind of Uruguayan style pole, which is kind of in a trident shape like this. And then here we are with another unique pole top, which is in Mato Grosso. The state of Mato Grosso is basically the only one to have this knob, knob, and then a, a upwards facing knob as well. There are similar looking poles elsewhere, and it is not 100%, but 95% of the time you see this particular pole top, you should be there. Uh, don't confuse it with the power pole top, which would go knob, 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 alternating like that. Okay, next one here, we have another unique pole top coming through with these unique pole tops, guys. And this one should only be found around Cali in Colombia. Not only that, we also have sugar Sugarcane, which is apparently the most common inside that state as well. And so that is this province here, which goes all the way to the sea. Quite a big place, so you can actually get some really good guesses based on that as well. Okay, next one here brings us to Ankara, the capital city of Turkey. And that is the only city in the whole of Turkey which has this round thing at the top of their street signs. And you can find that all over Ankara. So even though it seems like quite a niche tip, this will actually get, get you some good scores if you happen to be on urban Turkey. Because Ankara shows up a whole lot, and they basically always have this. And it's a very well signed city, so you can also see it quite often because of that as well. Next up here, we we have some more pole top meta. We are over here in Western Cape, which is one of the states in South Africa. And this triangle that spells an A and has a trident should be found in Western Cape. 95% of the time you see this pole, it should be found in the Western Cape state. Now you can see this pole around East London for some reason. And then you can also see it just North of the Cape here in North Cape. But 95% of the time you should just see it inside Western Cape. And it is a really, really good tip. Guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, please do give the video a like. That would really help help me out in the algorithm. Let's get into the next tip, which is another trident pole. This one's very similar to the last one, but without the A-frame. And this one is gonna be basically only found in KwaZulu Natal. Now it is uh, worth saying that in South Africa, basically everything has exceptions. So you can't take this as gospel, but yeah, when you see that pole, it should be somewhere inside this state right here, around Durban. Okay, next up, let's move on to a few of the more distinctive Mexican number plates that I've seen. So this one is the Sinaloa plate. And in Sinaloa, you have this red circle in the center. I recommend remembering it as the Japanese flag. Sinaloa is this long state right here. If you feel like you're in a big city, just guess in the capital. Next state we're gonna look at is Jalisco. And Jalisco has this number plate here, which is uh, yellow and white and blue. And it kind of looks like, I don't know, like the old Dutch flag or something like that, but instead yellow on the top. And so that one is very, very useful, quite distinctive as well. And so when you see that one, you should be able to just go in Jalisco or somewhere nearby and get a good score. And the final Mexican plate I have here is the one of 
of the Chiapas variants of their plates. Now this one has green and red or orange on the other side. It actually has blue and yellow as well. It actually has all four of the main colors. However, it ends up kind of just looking from a distance like orange and green to me. And so that way I kind of think it looks like the Ivory Coast flag or like the opposite of the Irish flag. So that's the way I remember it. But yeah, Chiapas. And Chiapas actually has a bunch of different number plates. In fact, every Mexican state tends to use a variety of different number plates. So you have to use these with caution and understand that uh, it's not always going to be that way. But when you see these, you should be able to go in Chiapas and get a good score. Okay, next up, we're going to talk more about a landscape for a quick moment here. So this is like quite a southern looking Brazilian landscape, kind of reminds you of those green hills you'd see, for example, in Minas Gerais. However, there are two things here that you can actually use to get the fact that this is all the way north in Pernambuco. One, we have a lot of palms. If you have so many palms dominating the actual flora here, then that is a good indication that you're actually in the north. And two, we have this kind of rickety fence, which is kind of like, you know, made of some sticks and some more solid looking ones. And that one is also an indication for northeast. Now, this is not 100% the case, but yeah, when you see these kind of northern hills with a lot of palms, then guessing somewhere on the coast here near Recife or something like that, Alagoas, can be a really good call, uh, maybe even over here. So good to keep in mind, Generation 4 can look very, very similar. Okay, so here we are in Alagoas, one of the states we just mentioned, just to the south of Recife there. And this one is known to be quite flat for one, and also to grow sugarcane like this. So if you see flat plus sugarcane, you can get a really good score and a state streak by going in Alagoas. It won't always be the case. You do get sugarcane in the south as well, uh, in Sao Paulo and stuff like that, but definitely worth keeping in mind and uh, good to know. Okay, next up we have something which is a bit of a uh, tentative meta, let's say, but definitely worth keeping in mind is that we have Piaui soil here. So in generation three camera, if you see this kind of red soil, that's almost built up at the side of the road. That's very rocky and this exact color. Now you will have to play a bit to get a handle on this, but if you have this soil, then you should be somewhere in the state of Piaui. Now, I don't know why this works, why exactly it has such a specific style of soil, but it's rare that you actually see ones that look exactly like that outside of Piaui. So if you're in generation three camera and you see that, then go Piaui, get a good score. Trust me, it works once you've done a bit of practice. Okay, next one here, we're talking about a bit of car meta here, which I haven't done too much in this video. I try to stay away from it, but we have some good car meta here that's very effective. So here we are in Mongolia. And generally speaking, if you see these black build-in roof racks, then you should be in the west side of the country. West side of the country for the black build-in roof racks. And I think these are also in Ulaanbaatar as well most of the time. But then you also have the unfilled in roof racks without the rubber bit in between. You can see this is just like an empty shadow. There's no rubber bit like there was in the last frame. And this one is only found in the east of the country. And they're pretty much dividing the country in half and uh, super useful for getting closer scores. So keep that in mind. And I uh, hope I didn't say it the wrong way around. I'm pretty sure I got it right. Okay, next one here. We have a very niche, but super high yield meta. And that is the yellow antenna here. We have the antenna with the opal yellow flag flying at the back here. If you see this car, it is in Ukraine and it is near Chernobyl. Pretty Pretty easy to remember, near Chernobyl, let's say it's the mutant Google car, and uh, yeah, it's got the yellow flag on it, so if you can remember that, Chernobyl, bam, easy, easy 4,990 points. Okay, next one here, we are looking at some Russia. I'm going to give you a few tips for guessing more rural locations in Russia that I've learned recently. First things first is that all the way north near Murmansk, we have this rocky soil on the outside of the road. So this looks like a fairly generic kind of forest here, but if you see a lot of rocks on the outside of the road, then one of the possible options, and one that's very likely, is all the way north in Murmansk here. So that is all the way up here, and this oblast here, and this oblast here should have very rocky side of the road, it should be thin birches and often also overcast coverage in this area of the country as well. Okay, next up we have a similar looking landscape in some ways, but also very different. So we have a rocky road as well, we have a very wide dirt road here, and in the distance we have snow-capped mountains. So with this combination, the kind of colder looking trees, they're very thin and kind of short, and this massive mountain like that, you should be somewhere in Kamchatka Peninsula here, which is all the way up here. And you can see there's only limited coverage here, so you just click somewhere along this road, it should be Generation 3, get great points by guessing up here, especially when you see those volcanic looking mountains, which are quite distinct to that area and basically not seen anywhere else. Okay, moving to some other mountains here, we are looking here at Magadan Oblast. This is new Generation 4 coverage. We have these Siberian larches, which kind of have very 
sparse leaves. And then also we have mountains and also very hazy coverage. So if you have that combination, you have mountains, you have these types of trees and this kind of dirt road, hazy coverage, okay, with the with the, uh, with the the dust coming from the back of the car here. You should be somewhere in Magadan Oblast. This is quite a bit of coverage, but it is very, very useful for getting closer than your opponents here. And so I'll show you, I'll click on the man here. We should be somewhere along this road like this. Again, there is a little bit of this mountain coverage as well over in the next inside uh, Yakutia. Uh, but yeah, should be a pretty good region, I guess, as opposed to the rest of Russia. And then we move to very similar looking coverage, which also has this kind of bushfire coverage. But this time we are much flatter and we have like a reddish soil as well. And uh, that is looking to be somewhere in the Sakhar Republic inside that Yakutsk area. And that is particularly the road going over to the west here of Yakutsk all the way along this river here. So over to Myrny, that's a good way to remember it basically. And uh, yeah, you should get some good points based on that. Just remember it has to be flat and kind of bushfire-ish. Okay, moving on to the next one here, we have a single yellow line in the US. Obviously USA tends to either do single dash line or double lines, but here we have a single yellow line and uh, there are particular places that you can see that much more commonly. One of those is Texas. So if you see kind of a light looking road, kind of looks a bit like Mexico, but it has to be USA for some reason because you see some English, then Texas makes a lot of sense. And then also we have Texas signs here with this yellow band around it. So that is uh, basically only found in Texas. Very good little clue, um, helps you get the state. Obviously Texas is pretty big, but if you can get that, even without a sign like this, then you should be good. Okay, moving on here, we have some Connecticut single yellow line, very similar to the Texas deal. This is another place where they tend to do it a lot, especially near Cape Cod. And uh, yeah, that whole New England area does it a little bit more than the rest of the country as well. Okay, conversely, here we have double yellow lines on a road where you'd expect to have a single yellow line in Canada. And generally speaking, when you see double yellow lines on a road where you'd probably have singles otherwise, that's gonna be Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia loves double yellow lines almost as much as the USA does and much more than the rest of Canada. So, yep, when you kind of have this kind of rolling landscape, these kind of colder looking trees almost could look like Newfoundland, but you have the double yellow lines, then Nova Scotia seems like a really good bet. Okay, sticking with the Canada theme, here we are in Prince Edward Island. And generally speaking, in Prince Edward Island, most poles have this little white plaque on them. So you can see it on that one and on that one. Perhaps you won't see it every single time, but definitely Prince Edward Island is kind of hard to get. So that's a good little tip for you. Also, this kind of reddish soil is very Prince Edward Island, especially it can get quite red in PEI. Okay, next one, we are in South Korea here. And in South Korea, if you see these black rock walls, then you should be somewhere in Jeju. This is a pretty consistent meta and they're actually quite common on this island. So see if you can remember this. This is the island of Jeju here, and that is the mainland of Korea there. So quite good points if you can get on that island itself. Next up, we are somewhere in the Northern Territory here. And in the Northern Territory, you also get yellow bands commonly around the signpost. Now in Texas and Northern Territory, they're not all the time. In fact, many times you won't find them, but if you do see them, that's should mean you're in that region for either one. So definitely worth keeping in mind. Also here, we have 130 speed limit and the maximum outside of the Northern Territory in Australia is 110. So if you see 130, you can also go straight for the Northern Territory, which is another great clue. Okay, next up, we are also in South Australia here. And in South Australia, they use flat signposts with dots down the back. That's the only state to use these essentially. You can see them sometimes in Western Australia, but generally speaking, most times in Western Australia, they'll be painted yellow. Uh, France and Spain are also two countries that use flat signs post as well that look similar, but these ones should have dots in them in Australia and obviously quite a different landscape anyway. Okay, moving on here, we have this one particular road in Northern Sweden, which looks quite Norwegian or something like that, maybe in quite North Russian. But yeah, we have these kind of very cold looking mountains and it would be hard to get. We're enough for the fact that we have this red car here to help us out. And so no doubt the red car shows up elsewhere in Sweden, but it's most useful for this particular road, which follows this really long lake in Northern Sweden. And that is that road here. Okay, next up we have a another red soil meta. I love those red soil metas. And this one is in Oklahoma. Oklahoma is the state in the US that's easily most likely to have this kind of red looking soil here. So if you see a round that could easily fit in Brazil or something like that, then guessing Oklahoma is definitely the best bet for the states, although it might not always work. Okay, moving on here, we have another meta, which is the bushfire coverage in Turkey. This is some of the new Gen 4 just came out in October this year. And yeah, if you identify the fact that you're in Turkey, you have a north facing road here, then coming to this road here, here, which is the E99, I believe, then it should be somewhere along this stretch from this city all the way down to the Syrian border. It's not a long place, but given that Turkey is so huge, you can get a really great score and even a 5k score if you just realize that you have that kind of bushfire coverage. Okay, moving on to a certified zigzag meta, discovered it myself. Not 100% effective this one, but very effective nonetheless. If you are in Philippines and you see a pole painted two different colors, bright colors at the bottom, then you should be somewhere around 
the capital city of Manila. Now, for example, if it was black and yellow, that could be anywhere in the country. But if it's bright colors apart from those, then you should be somewhere around this Manila, southern central Luzon kind of area here. And yeah, should not be anywhere else in the country from my own testing. Okay, next one here, we are on the RN251 in Argentina, another road that goes directly north to south, just like the Turkish one. And this one has ultra fine dots on the side of the road, like you'd see, for example, in Denmark. So there you have it. These are these, these ones, and uh, it's just on this road, as far as I know. Definitely not a common thing to see regardless in Argentina. So I think that should just basically be the 251, maybe a few other locations. Pretty consistent, pretty much all along the road. So really good tip, and you can get there and a lot of points uh, for Argentinian stands, if you can remember that. Okie dokie, our final tip for the video here is the tape on the Kenya car. A little bit more car matter here to end out the video. If you see this kind of tape on the car, or indeed any significant amount of tape on the left-hand side of the car, then it can't be all of the way over in the west of the country. It should not be anywhere out here. It shouldn't be anywhere out here either. It should be around Nairobi all the way to Nakuru, and then it actually goes all the way up to Masa, Masa bit as well. So kind of goes quite far north, but in that central region of the country. Thank me later when you get some good scores based on this. Guys, thank you very much for watching all the way to the end of the video. Don't forget to like it. Hopefully you guys got something from this. I think you probably learned a lot. That's, that's my opinion, because some of this stuff I didn't know too very long recently, and I hope I can spread it to you guys and uh, help you out. Subscribe if you're new, and if you found this helpful, and uh, I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Thanks for watching all the way to the end, and goodbye.